before I even uh, got hired by the city police. I saw people riding their bikes and thought it was pretty interesting and looked like it would be a good way to get out and interact with the public. Policing on bicycles is becoming increasingly popular, even in smaller towns. But as some potential bicycle cops are about to find out, you need to know more than just how to ride a bike. The course is a 40-hour course that covers a, a, a whole range of uh, subjects. What we want them to be able to do is um, go into an environment that's full of people, such as the 8th Avenue Mall, the Stampede Grounds during the Stampede, and we want the officers to be able to control their bike in those environments and uh, ride safely with little or no speed. Good job, Troy. We're going to teach them how to ride hills, how to ride stairs. Um, in any area of Calgary, you're going to have parks that have stairs and steep hills, and they have to learn how to descend hills properly so that they're not coming off their bike. If they are, are in a situation where they've had to ride hard, they've had to ride far, um, they're working in their anaerobic capacity, and they come off their bike and have to encounter a deadly force situation, they have to be able to handle that situation. What we like to tell people is that we attend calls on two wheels instead of four. Other than that, uh, we're pretty much the same as the patrol vehicles. Some of the advantages that we have, though, is we can get into pathways and into areas that cars can't get into. I'm a little tired of being in a car. It's nice to be out on a bike and be more approachable by the public, working downtown area for sure. Once these officers pass this course, most of them still have to pass a written and a physical exam. If they make it onto the Calgary mountain bike team, they'll be patrolling year-round. From the police shooting range, I'm videographer Chi Kwon Ho. A-Channel News Now. I was there given to understand there'd be no shooting. <laughs>